Okay, hello students. Uh, we are going to solve this problem. This problem is from algebra, uh, mainly laws of indices. From the chapter laws of indices, we are going to solve this problem. This problem is uh, helpful for the SC students of Nepal. Uh, this question can be asked uh, in five marks or it can be asked in four marks as well. And it is the frequently asked question, so it is considered as the important question. Okay, let us see the solution, proof of this problem. Here we have given A plus B plus C is equal to 0. And we have to prove here the value of this is equal to 1. For this, uh, A plus B plus C is equal to 0. Uh, let us leave gap here. Also, a plus b plus c is equal to 0 implies, let us leave the gap here. Now, let us start from the left hand side. Left hand side is 1 upon 1 plus x raised to the power a plus x raised to the power minus b plus 1 upon 1 plus x raised to the power b plus x raised to the power minus c plus 1 upon 1 plus x raised to the power c plus x raised to the power minus a. Okay, now to solve this, the first fraction we will keep as it is, don't change it. 1 upon 1 plus x raised to the power a plus x raised to the power minus b. Okay, for the second fraction, we have to multiply both numerator and denominator by a certain quantity. Which quantity, by which quantity is to multiply here, that will be determined uh, looking at the denominator of the first fraction here x raised to the power a and x raised to the power minus b either by x raised to the power a or by x raised to the power minus b we have to multiply on that also if x raised to the power minus b by x raised to the power minus b we have multiplied here here it is x raised to the power b so the value will be 1 so that uh, the appropriate quantity to multiply the second fraction is x raised to the power minus b. So what we do here is by x raised to the power minus b both numerator and denominator are multiplied. Okay now third fraction is also to be multiplied by a certain quantity. Which quantity to determine this again we will look back at the denominator of the first fraction. Out of this x raised to the power a and x raised to the power minus b, by this x raised to the power minus b we have already multiplied here. So by x raised to the power a only we have to multiply. So by x raised to the power a if we multiplied both numerator and denominator of the third fraction 1 plus xc plus x raised to the power minus a. Okay, let us multiply, let us remove the bracket here. So first fraction is 1 plus x raised to the power a plus x raised to the power minus b. x raised to the power minus b divided by, while multiplying inside, it is x raised to the power minus b, x minus b, x b, same base. So while adding the power b minus b is 0, so it is x raised to the power 0 is 1 and x raised to the power minus b minus c. Plus, similarly here while multiplying this bracketed term, with x raised to the power a, we get x raised to the power a plus x raised to the power a plus c. And what's the value here? a minus a is 0, so x raised to the power 0 is 1. Okay, now from this, we will find the value of this b minus c and a plus c. Okay, b mi minus b minus c. A is equal to minus B minus C. While transposing B and C to the right, we get minus B minus C. So instead of minus B minus C, we can put the value A. And A plus C, its value is A plus C. While transposing this B to the right, it becomes minus B. So instead of A plus C here, we put minus B. Okay, let us put these two values here in these two places. So we get 1 upon 1 plus x a plus x raised to the power minus B plus x raised to the power minus B upon x raised to the power minus b plus 1 plus x raised to the power. The value of minus b minus c is a. So x raised to the power a plus x raised to the power a upon x raised to the power a plus x raised to the power. The value of a plus c is minus b. So minus b plus 1. Okay now, is the denominator same to all? Yes. 
1 x a x minus b 1 x a x minus b 1 x a x minus b so denominator is same here 1 x a x minus b so numerator as it is according to their sign we may write x raised to the power minus b plus x raised to the power a what do we get here in the left hand side in the numerator and denominator we get the same quantity so its value is 1 which is the right hand side it is proved here uh, to solve this problem the thing you have to remember are that a plus b plus c is equal to 0 given it will imply this this you will uh, leave blank here in this place also you will leave blank later what we required that's value only we will find here okay this is the given left hand side uh, from this first expression is kept as it is the second expression will be multiplied by the value either by x a or x minus b which one be suitable that will, that should be chosen since here is x raised to the power b by x raised to the power minus b it should be multiplied so by x minus b we have multiplied here both in numerator and denominator in the third expression there is no option out of these two one is already gone so by x raised to the power a we need to multiply okay we multiplied here the bracket is uh, removed now minus b minus c its value from the this place we get the value of minus b minus c is a and the value of a plus c from here we get minus b after putting this we get the same denominator and we write the numerator according to their sign we get both numerator and denominator same so one which is the required right hand side Thank you for watching this video. We will continue to post the other videos in the coming days. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe our channel. Thank you.